All right, so this is going to be for the achievement Bill and Ben's Egg Slash Salon Joint Venture. And we're just going to go in order. So a hatching pair after extinction quest. Ask prehistoric Potterton at the Anacronia Dinosaur farm about the Zygomites. So here she is right here. And, you know, you talk to her and then you ask about the Zygomites. All those little delights helping expand Potterton brand, my dear. They'll be smearing Potterton on every field and getting no. I'm afraid that leaves me none the wiser. Brown gold, dearie. <laughs> the purest artisan of fertilizer from Angelated Freeway, baby. That's so <laughs> But only from the finest diet of fiber rich potions and grains. The mixture is tested in our fat, our chemical experts to ensure maximum crop yield and health. You've been practicing a lot that pattern for a while, I think. No need for practice. <laughs> when you are as rapid as old as Carambola. Will you be lending a hand with this new venture, my little llama bean? Of course. I've been pumping beans into this little offshoot, but can't wiggle all my root check shade ties, so no fertilizer had made it back to me yet. Gal Galar and Ben should be sorting eggs south of here, but I suspect Ben has gotten something into mischief. He was on the very south coast of the peninsula last time I checked. There is plenty to do. We should start with Gal Galar on the peninsula. I'll see what I can do. And there we go. That's how you get that first achievement. Don't forget to bring Granny back some valuable new product. Alright, so let's do the rest. Alright, so regarding the next achievement, off to see the lizard. You would help Gal Galar the Illajunka near the incubator south of the Anacronia dinosaur farm, which would be right here. So, Potterton's right there, so it'll be over here. You would talk to him, and what you have to do is basically gather the eggs, and then you would see these sharp shell shards. So, you would just get some of these, and then either if they're good or bad, you would get some more shells, Right, so you would just talk about the segregation, and it'll show them. Yes, those are exactly what I expected. Those extreme liquors. <laughs> sure, it should be exquisite. Oh boy. We'll give them the explosive edge. Perhaps you could learn something with pyrotechnics by Ignatium. Extinguisher nearby. Oh, on standby. So where are the incubated dinos going? I direct them to Bill and Sal on the Anacronia coastline. You can follow them via the mystical tree to the south. On on your way to the magic tree, you can check on Ben. He's been gone for an excessively amount of long time. Anyway. Your yeah, expeditious egg into get you know that's too many egg references. And there we go. That's how you get the next achievement. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing. You would talk to Ben after you, you know, you would dry or cut dry. And then you would get some fungal shafts. So you would just talk to Ben. And then you would talk about helping in the salon. And then you show him the fungal shafts. Yes, that's exactly what I need. You should be able to get lots of tempered fungal shafts for cutting and drying the cuticles. They look like they would be some sturdy shafts for the arrows. You can stretch them too. Maybe that'll be useful. That sounds like good bowstring. Perhaps I should try stretching them on a spinning wheel. Why not? You can take as many as you like. I'm not sure. It's just... <laughs> I hate... Speaking of not being generous, sending back any fertilizer. You don't want Granny to be mad. He and a lizard called Susan, I think. <laughs> should be feeding the dinos. If you climb this mystical tree, you teleport. Alright. And ask him what's the hold up. Now get back to work! As a boss, I expect to be more of a fungi. Or a fun guy. Nah. Nah, we'll discuss it at your next perspormance. 
It's so lame. Oh my god. And there we go. That's how you get the achievement. Alright, so for the next achievement, it's called My Cult Management. Help build an ancient zygomite near the mystical tree on the west coast of Anachronia. So, all we did was teleport with the mystical tree from Ben, from the other side. And to get the fertilizer, all you would have to do is you would come to the storm barn and you would collect all these dinosaurs, right? So when you feed them all, this is what it's going to look like. Alright, so after you fed all the dinosaurs in your inventory, you would get Pottington Blend number 102 fertilizer. So after that, you would come back over here and then you would talk to Bill. So if we look at the achievement, help Bill, and then show dinosaur propellant to Bill. So we would just talk to him. And then you would talk about helping with the experimentation. You show him the propellant. Right. Ooh. <laughs> it could be good at flying a arrow a good distance. Maybe I should try putting some in a compost bin to keep Granny happy. Stranger things have worked. When you have a moment, let's discuss the military capabilities of the, this propellant. Interesting. Thanks. I'm sure Granny will appreciate what you've done. And there we go. That's how we get that achievement. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. Alright, so the next achievement would be... Fibbin Archery Sequence. Help Sal... Salusan the Illajunkin near the mystical tree on the west coast. So we would talk to Salusan about constructing dino arrows. So we would just talk to him and talk about constructing dino arrows. You know, the way I see it, despite aiming to make high quality fertilizer, the components of our farm producers would be fantastic fit for an experimental arrow idea I've had. The tempered fungal shafts and sharp shell shards could easily become arrow shafts and arrow heads. But if we use the explosive power of the dinosaur propellant, we could create rocket propelled arrows. That seems like a totally logical conclusion to drop from a random pile of tat on off. <laughs> Alright, anything is a weapon if you coat enough an explosive. Can I create these like any other arrow? Yes. Flight the shafts, then head the arrows, but there is one thing we could try. The Elder God forces and Sentistin left behind latent energy. I think the Dino Arrow would be a perfect conduit for this energy. So I should imbue Dino Arrows with some form of Elder God Resonant Anima? Correct. At least I hope it's correct. I would think different Anima types would give different results. I'll give that a go. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do now. Alright, so the achievement turned into showing Elder God Arrow to a Seleucon. So, let's go to the bank, or if you need to go buy your Grand, uh, your Resonant Anima from the Grand Exchange, go right ahead. I'll see you back here when I get the Elder God Arrow. Alright, so now that we have our Anima, let's... Let's charge these Dino Arrows. So, you already see a charge on the Resonant Anima, a full, and let's just create some. Alright, so we created 15, and let's talk to Sulusan. Right? So, talk about constructing Donna arrows. It looks like you made some Elder God arrows. They feel pretty powerful. I would expect them to be. But sure to try all variants of the Resonant Animal to see how that affects the, the arrows. And there we go. Now we got the achievement. Oh, and show P Potterington what we have done. I'm pretty sure she will be pleased. Alright, so let's move on to the last one. And for the last achievement, all we have to do is, it's called the Needles from Skips. And what we gotta do is show an Elder God Arrow to Prehistoric Potterington. So, let's just go back to Anachronia Dinosaur Farm. And we're already in front of her face. So, you would talk to her again. 
And let me see if we can just use it on her. Right, so just use that on her. What on Gilinoi? I mean, what on Gilinoi is that, dude? <laughs> this is an imbued Donna arrow. I've created from various components from the fertilizer farm expansion. They are rocket powered and imbued with the energy of Elder Gods. My little sheriffs! <laughs> Greatest dad! <laughs> with your help? Yeah, they did. Well, we broke it into our next market day. Bottom of the pocket fire. I arrows. I mean needles. And there we go. We got our completion escape back and we got the achievement. There we go. Bill and Ben's egg salon joint adventure. There we go. Glad you were happy, Granny. And this is also for uh extra bonus points. The plop thickens. Use the fertilizer that you had got from those little dinosaurs on the prehistoric Putterington. So you would just use it on her. <laughs> is <laughs> is that what it smells like, dearie? <laughs> Nothing else could smell like this. The smell of sh shades. <laughs> My little Linwort, <laughs> thank you for all your help. <laughs> no problem, Granny. As you leave, you cannot help but overhear Putterington mutter to herself. Alright, so there we go. We got the achievement. Nah, she looks sinister as hell. An expired mix from the young Dasher Rider. That could launch a keybit to Keshi. Damn, we still talking about Kessie? Alright. There we go. Alright, so regarding this achievement right here, it's called Potting is Such a Sweet Sorrow. You would help Bill near the mystical tree on the west coast of Anachronia to realize his pot entry. So what we got to do is we got to go in order. So you would come to Bill, which is, you know, from the mystical tree on the other side where Ben is, where you were cut and dry. So you would just talk to Bill while having an empty plant pot. And to get an empty plant pot, you would have to plant a tree to get an empty plant pot. So when you talk to him, you would talk about Bill's magic pot. You know, is there anything else I can help with? random acts of heroism are my kind of thing. Although my specialty is receiving compensation for random acts of heroism. Well, my favorite thing is gone. Again. Uh, empty plant pot? <laughs> nah, alright. Oh, alright. <laughs> I'll hold on to this empty plant pot then. <laughs> Potentially I'll be able to use it later. Why are you carrying around a... I think somebody's cheating. Nah, this is like a mind break in the fourth wall. I like this. I like it. I like it. Cuts all the phoniness. Never mind. So my favorite item is a magic pot. It's, I bet Ben, my potty spotty brother, has taken it again. Oh yes. When Ben told me about Karastalin, there was a magic pot on the ground next to him. Aha. Uh -huh, well spotted. I knew it. Ben always makes a hot potch of things. I don't have any road to offer you. Virtue is its own reward, I suppose. But I will be very grateful if you bring back my magic pot to me. That sounds like a quest for a, a prepotent adventurer like myself. This definitely isn't a quest. Not even hypothetically. It's just a bit of pottering about. Oh boy. Alright, so let's see the next one. So we ask Ben about his brother's pot. Alright, so we just try to teleport back. To the Ben's caring, care styling. Right, so we'll talk to Ben and talk to him about Bill's magic pot. Your brother wants you to return his magic pot. What you gonna give me? This ain't negotiation. What you gonna give me? <laughs> Apparently, this is now a negotiation. All right, so let's see what we let's go through the chat options. Uh, so when you go through all the chat options, the last one that makes sense would be a flower pot. And he'd be like, yes, empty plant pot, no dirt. I gathered my own dirt on Bill. Nah, that boy's slimy. Alright, so... I'm assuming you used the plant pot on him. Alright, so no you so okay, so... You would talk to him again about it? I just so happen to have an empty plant pot for you right here. Ben replaces the magic pot with the empty plant pot and gives you 
the Bill's magic pot back. Everybody happy. <laughs> Gave that magic pot to Bill. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do. And then safely return Bill's magic pot. So we go back. And we're gonna talk to Bill. Alright, so now we're here. Talk about his magic pot. You reunite him with his magic pot. And there we go. Now we got the achievement. 